Hey, what's going on guys? God said here. So today we're going to be using the brand new MC51 SD, which is a new battle rifle in Phantom Forces, which surprisingly, minus my other videos where I'm constantly calling out Stylus for releasing overpowered battle rifles and not nerfing them, this one's actually pretty balanced. Uh, and it also comes defaultly suppressed and it sounds so, so glorious. The way this gun sounds is honestly like my favorite. And the reason why I started using the G36 so much is because I like the way it uh, it shot and everything, but I also like the way it sounded. And that was like one of my main reasons for sticking with the gun for so long, because if I hate the way the gun sounds, I just don't want to use it, you know what I mean? And like, even when the AKM su uh, gun sound changed, it just made me not want to ever use the gun. So I might potentially use this gun a bit more often, especially since I really don't see it as being overpowered in any sense. And it makes me, you know, a little bit more open to using a battle rifle. Whereas before, I wouldn't really use battle rifles because I did see them as extremely overpowered. Might have to change up my plans a little bit here, just because the way this gun... Ooh, that was a bit laggy. Just because the way this gun sounds is just amazing, and I love it. Like, it honestly makes me want to use this battle rifle so much. Oh, wow. I just, like, mind-blanked right there. That was awkward. But we're running the mini sight with angled grip and a green laser. Obviously, you can't put a barrel attachment on it because it is a, like, already silenced gun. Ooh, I picked up M60 ammo. I didn't even know I could do that. It's kind of curious as to where I could find ammo for this because I'm running out, but we're already 15-1 right now, and why am I not surprised the M60 rank 23 comes around the corner and ruins my fun. But yeah, mini sight, angled grip, green laser, it's really good. It's got a little bit of recoil to it, but that's not really that bad of a recoil. Not to mention that it also doesn't shoot that fast. So controlling the recoil obviously will take a little bit to get used to if you're brand new to the gun, but overall it's really good. And I would definitely recommend this gun. Now, I haven't really used much much of the new guns yet but with just using this and like the little bit that i used it in streams yesterday they are pretty good and like i said none of them that are new seem overpowered in any way which i'm really happy about especially since i saw that two new battle rifles are getting added and i was a little worried now i haven't tested out the foul 50 para all that much but on paper and like looking at the stats really quickly it doesn't look like it would be overpowered it'll be a decent bit strong as will any battle rifle just because that's kind of like the current state of battle rifles in this game is they're just naturally pretty strong but like i said on an overall sense it isn't that bad so i'm definitely okay with looking at it on paper like i said i'll have to try it out more and if my opinions change trust me i'll be more than happy to let you guys know but right now i'm pretty happy with the update and i'm definitely happy with this battle rifle because it's not extremely overpowered and it would be really bad if they made this pre-built silenced and extremely overpowered like i don't know that would be like the asvel but at like all ranges you know because the asvel is pre-silenced but it's really strong close range and like decent at medium but at long range obviously not really worth using so if they made this gun really strong all ranges it would just be kind of crazy and like i've said in my past video i really like default suppressed guns for some reason and they always seem to sound really good and this gun obviously is no exception but the way this gun sounds makes me want to use it so much more and honestly it might become one of my new like favorite guns it seems really fun to use overall in the little bit of time that i have used it and it's not something that i feel scummy using so might be picking this gun up a bit more often right now um but i'm not 100 percent sure at the end of the day my opinions could change as always and hopefully in all honesty i hope they don't really change the stats on this that much because i really don't think it needs any stat changes whereas other guns i definitely have ranted about i still think need to be nerfed or changed up some but this has a good amount of recoil it's not a super fast fire rate it's not like super fast reload or anything pretty good gun overall and like i said stylus lately with their updates sorry for the little bit of lag uh stylus with their updates as of lately have been really good and i really don't have much to complain about with them even though people are still nitpicking like bugs and stuff like they're trying like it takes time you guys 99% of you aren't developers in any sense finding bugs and finding a fix for them especially on an engine that you can't just work with because it's not your engine you know what I mean like this is Roblox's engine that they have to work with and it doesn't always really work in their favor there's a lot of time a lot of things that they can't fix simply because of the engine so give them time they're gonna do their best to fix the bugs like they already know about all the bugs trust me you guys yell at them 24 7 for it but they're definitely working on it so i'm not gonna really voice my opinions there and obviously when new updates come out new bugs can come out but that's just the way it is like things happen and you just have to give them time to at least try to fix it rather than screaming at them 24 7 saying that stylus doesn't do anything but trust me they're doing quite a bit and especially as of lately they're putting a lot of work into the updates and it's a lot more content than we've seen in a while and it's a lot better content than we've had in a while so i don't get why all the negative feedback all the time like i can kind of understand but if you look at how much they're actually doing and how much you guys complain about it it's it really doesn't help us at all like when you guys give constant negative feedback on things that they worked a lot for now everybody's entitled to their opinion but if you're giving super negative feedback on things that really aren't bad you're just so against it 
you're not helping anyone. If anything, you're really discouraging things because they're not going to want to push certain updates or they're going to feel discouraged from it because they get the terrible responses. And there's some people out there and I'm not naming anyone and I'm not really trying to pinpoint anyone, but there's a lot of people out there who really just ruin it for the like for the rest of us because they voice their opinions in a really toxic way. You can voice your opinion without making people feel terrible about it. And like I said, there's a lot of work that goes into these things, whether you guys want to believe it or not, or whether you guys want to give them credit for it. You got to understand that if someone's sitting there constantly telling you like, oh, you did this terribly and like those tons of hours that you put in that nobody else saw was absolutely terrible and meaningless they're not really gonna want to do it anymore like you can't discourage them constantly at least say like look i understand a lot of effort went in this is my opinions on it and try to see if you find other people with similar opinions and then you can focus on getting changed but you guys are just toxic man like i'm gonna be, be honest with you guys a lot of people in the community are just straight up toxic when it comes to this stuff and that's why things don't get done like i voice my opinions and i'm not gonna say i'm not toxic in any shape or form but i voice my opinions and i try to give like reasons behind them and off and like potentially offer changes but if you guys are just gonna berate them and like tell them like oh you guys are idiots for doing this nothing's gonna change the game's gonna say exactly how it wants and whether you guys want to believe it or not even if you are a small majority of an opinion you can still have an impact on the game as long as you do it in like a professional way and as long as you guys aren't mean about it and like i said i hate to say it, but a lot of the community is terribly toxic and i am no like exemption from that there's been times i've been toxic about things and i fully admit to that but as of lately i've been trying to get into contact with more of them well i have contact with them whenever i really need it but i'm trying to talk with them more about like gun balance and things like that i'm trying to voice my opinion more get it heard more and obviously i'm just one person however if i can catch the opinions of other people and kind of form up a group opinion and kind of convince them that this would be worth doing because you know it'll benefit in this way and this is way that it'll balance blah 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 like offer solutions that make sense that aren't completely just to favor you because i know i don't like a lot of things but most of the time the things that i'm talking about or preaching are things that i gather from a lot of people and just people i've known for long times and kind of like my group opinion and not everyone in my like friend group agrees with my opinions and i don't agree with your theirs so obviously we talk things out and there's some things that i personally don't agree on that i don't talk about as much in videos because i know it's somewhat biased to an extent so like i said you guys just got to be calm about things i personally think these last few updates have been really good i don't see why they're getting so much hate when they didn't do anything that like broke the game like okay you don't like like i've seen people who don't like the way new sites look and they go into like the stylus discord and like excuse language here but they're like oh you guys are retarded blah 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 like why would you do that you're ruining the game and they just go off on them and it's like what do you expect them to do for you if that's how you treat them like you gotta remember at the end of the day they're still people and they still have feelings and they still care about things but with you guys just constantly like going off on them like man i don't know how they put up with it like i, I really don't because there's so much toxicity and hatred that's constantly thrown around and they genuinely do not deserve it like i said if you guys go about things professionally and whoa the lag as a right now what is it what is that okay if you guys go about it professionally and offer real criticism constructive criticism mind you not this is why it's terrible and then just scream at them to fix it or be like oh i hate this because of this and it's an obvious biased opinion then just don't say anything like let them work on it especially if the majority of people think things are okay they're probably going to listen to the majority more often than the solo person but if you can find reason and convince them that this is a good thing to change it'll change you know you guys just got to work on things better and i'm more than happy to speak out my opinion Opinions, and obviously I have a bigger platform than a lot of people and I'm thankful for that because I can have my opinion heard more than like the next guy on most occasions because of my YouTube channel but that doesn't mean that just because I have my YouTube channel and like I'm featured content creator that they'll listen to me any more than they might listen to someone else now in the extent if you want to go like oh I've been playing the game for a long time like I actively work with people and like I'm actively trying to find balance of things. Sure, they might take my opinion more than others. Eh, oh well. At the end of the day, you guys got to realize that everyone's opinion and voice can be heard if you want it to be heard and you do it in the right way. I encourage you guys to go like kind of voice your opinion and try to get heard on things and try to get changes to the game if you believe they're right, but just do it the right way, guys. Like I personally, like I said, I hate battle rifles in this game. You guys have listened to like 15 minute video of just pure ranting. There's new battle rifles added and just because I hate battle rifles as a whole doesn't mean I'm ruining them right now i'm complimenting the update i think they handled it very well and i think that everything they're doing right now is a step in a good direction and i'm supporting all of it now i'm not like forced to support anything and you guys can tell i talk a lot of crap about things i voice my opinions on a lot of things and i tell them that they do a lot of things wrong but at the end of the day it's an opinion and i'm just one person nonetheless this gun is really good and i am going 92 and 13 and i joined you know like three minutes late to, into the game which is pretty good so 
can't complain about it at all. Dude, I can't get over how good the gun sounds though. It's honestly my favorite because I don't know, just automatically suppress guns. The one reason that I love them is that you get the suppression and you get the ability to be more stealthy in which you like don't show up on the map as soon as you start shooting and things like that. And you do it without losing any damage because when you throw on a suppressor on a gun, usually you lose some damage. But with the guns that are automatically suppressed, you don't. I have six sec I have 30 seconds for six kills. It's possible, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, especially I didn't get that kill. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe not. No, they're all too far away. I would need like some people close lined up here. Uh, 95 and 15. We might be able to get like one or two more kills here before the game ends, but it's all good. I really wasn't even going for 100 kill game here. I was just kind of casually playing, but mm, 90, 98 and 16. I'll take it. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, just try to be a bit more respectful about things and definitely go check out the new guns. I definitely think they're worth it. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.